I'm Sunny. And this is... Hi, I'm Amy. <laughs> and we are here to give you the first edition of how to take your sheepdog from shabby to sheep. And this is Steve, our demo dog. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Um, good, you grab my scissors. Yep. One of the things that we have learned as breeders and me as a veterinarian is you do no longer pluck the hair out of your dog's ears like this she plucks. because I want to show you what it looks like because it causes an ear infection mm -hmm. what you want to do is take a scissors and you can get baby scissors at the grocery store that have point that have rounded edges mm -hmm. and you just trim out the hair and the ears you don't pluck it anymore you just lightly trim it out I once had so a how, dog that I plucked and it turned into a yeast infection yeah, that and that's what all they will, the way up the ear canal. That's what they will turn into is yeast infections. And that's the other reason why if your groomer does this, plucks the hair out of the ears, the dogs will come home shaking their ears just floppy, 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 floppy all the time. So because they've plucked the hair. You why request wouldn't... when you go to the groomer that they do not pluck the hair out of the dog's ears. What if the groomer says, but I've been trained to do it this way? Please do not pluck the hair out of my dog's ears. Or please, please. Don't touch my dog's ears. Don't touch my dog's ears. Okay, so how do we keep and if it they clean? Don't, and if they, don't, if they don't listen to you, you go someplace else. Got it. And then how you clean the ears is you take an ear solution that you get from your vet or the pet store. You fill up the ear canal with the solution. You massage the base of the ear. You let them shake. Let them shake it out. And then you take a paper towel or Kleenex, not cotton ball, not Q-tip, because any Q uh, cotton left behind will cause an ear infection. So you take a Kleenex and you just wipe out as much as you can and leave the rest dry. Got it. They do not have to necessarily be dry, bone dry, in order to prevent an ear infection. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> 